These four lifelong best friends torture each other with pranks, challenges, and of course, punishments. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 impractical Joker's punishments. Tell her you're ashamed of your little package. <laughs> I think my least favorite body part would probably be my penis. <laughs> Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're focusing on the most surprising, cringeworthy, and hilarious punishments the guys have put each other through. <laughs> Number 10. Brother in Loss The guys are famous for their embarrassing, uncomfortable, and painful punishments, but they took this one to a whole new level and made it personal. This episode's loser, Sal, is strapped to a hand truck and wheeled to a church where he has to watch helplessly as Murr marries his sister. What's going on? As if that wasn't bad enough, Sal's parents, as well as guests who previously appeared on the show as victims of the Joker's antics, attended to share in the joy. This punishment is the perfect combination of surprise, emotional torture, and public humiliation. To my new mom and dad, I hope to be the son you've always wanted. <laughs> I hate you guys. Number 9. The Great Escape Joe is, without a doubt, the hardest Joker to punish. He doesn't seem to have a shameful bone in his body, but the guys manage to hit a nerve when they introduce him as an escape artist, put him in a straitjacket, tie his ankles, chain him up, and drop him into a tank of water. To his credit, Joe actually makes a valiant effort to escape, but eventually stands defeated while the crowd stares expectantly at him. That wasn't the punishment. This part is the punishment. <laughs> the true punishment isn't the embarrassment of not escaping, but the glare of thousands of judgmental eyes. I appreciate your faith in me, folks. Number 8. The Permanent Punishment in this rare three-way loss, Joe pulls no punches as he makes the other guys get tattoos of his choosing. Q is famous for his love of cats, so he gets a cat tattoo accompanied with a sad biography of his life. Murr gets a throwback to his infamous skydiving punishment with a skydiving ferret. Sal, expecting Joe's pick for him to therefore have something, anything to do with him, tears away the bandage to reveal a portrait of Jaden Smith. <laughs> Usually, even the worst punishments are temporary in their humiliation. But this time, the guys must live with the embarrassment for the rest of their lives. What the f*** is that to do with me? <laughs> Number 7. Birds and the Bees The stakes are always raised when the guys get family involved. Q believes he's walking into a room full of 6th graders to teach a sex ed class. But the guys pull the old switcheroo and swap them out with his parents. <laughs> And that's where I'm gonna punch my friends. <laughs> Q has to deliver a mortifying presentation, including props, visual aids, and the story of how he lost his virginity. Oh, that should be interesting. If you thought your parents giving you the sex talk as a kid was awkward, just imagine having to give it back to them as an adult. Number 6. The Blunder Years the surprise punishment has become a staple of the show. And for this one, the guys put on a high production con to trick Murr. They dress him up in a tiny Speedo, oil him up, and send him into what he believes to be a bodybuilding competition. When he walks through the door, he finds himself face to face with Danica McKellar, Winnie Cooper from The Wonder Years, his childhood crush. Murr stumbles through an interview full of hilarious questions and awkward confessions. Danica, uh, you've recently been making the rounds to promote the 25th. He can't even read. <laughs> you've recently been, recently been making the rounds to promote the 25th anniversary of Wonder Years, my favorite show growing up. But aside from the greased up gun show, perhaps the best part of this punishment are Danica's completely improvised responses. What would America call our baby? A mistake. <laughs> Number 5. B-I-N-G No So simple and yet so painful. In one of the most cringeworthy punishments ever, Sal crashes a bingo game and must yell bingo at the other guy's command. Bingo. <laughs> I got it, bingo. Upon declaring victory, Sal's empty card is projected onto a giant screen for all of the other players to see. I, oh my god, I can't, I can't do it again. No, 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 you don't have to, don't worry. B1, two. Bingo. Bingo! <laughs> <laughs> While it could be written off as an honest mistake the first time, the elderly crowd has no sympathy the second time around. 
It sounds like all hell's about to break loose. The guys watch in hysterics as Sal grows visibly scared for his safety, as the crowd grows angrier with every false bingo, until he's finally escorted out by security to a partially standing ovation. I thought I had it. I thought I had the bingo. I thought I... Bingo! Bingo! Number four, make womb for daddy. Here, the guys tell Q that he is teaching a birthing class to mommies to be. Instead, he gets to experience the miracle of childbirth via a machine that simulates labor pains. If your water just broke. As the machine operator explains to him the eight levels of labor that he will go through, the guys can already see the fear on his face. <sighs> The anticipation that it will only get worse is an added level of psychological torture to the already painful punishment. Adding insult to injury, the moms in the class laugh as Q literally begs for mercy and begins to destroy the room to distract himself from the pain. All right, that's it. You just had your baby. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, enter the dragons. They've made their careers with their improv skills, but Joe and Sal flop hard as they're forced to improvise songs Q and Murr give them while performing as Senora Lanza, opening act for Imagine Dragons. Open A for the Imagination Dragons. What makes performing unrehearsed in front of a stadium full of people even more terrifying is the fact that they have no idea how to play their instruments. When I was a boy, I was a I was up in bed. Son of a gun, I said, look, my I'm a rock star. Rock star. The guys from Imagine Dragons get in on the fun too, and team up with the backstage jokers in ordering Sal and Joe to perform ridiculous tasks that include mocking the crowd, performing an out of place drum solo. Drum solo! <laughs> and even stage diving. Go, go, go! Oh. <laughs> Number two, strip high five. In Q's words, it's the most public of humiliations. Joe and Murr must compete against each other for high fives from strangers, but for everyone they don't get, they must remove an article of clothing. Naturally, the game gets more and more intense as the clothes come off. Cause who wants to high five a half naked guy standing in the middle of a public park? Ah! A large crowd forms to watch the guys pitted against each other. And when Murr misses his final high five, Joe takes advantage and runs away with Murr's clothes, leaving him naked in front of the cheering crowd. <laughs> Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. You should respect marriage no, 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 a little no, no, bit no, no, more. No, 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 no. <laughs> Make it <time. laughs> he just pulls it out. Guys, I'm gonna throw up. I'm not kidding. Number one, the truth hurts. The Jokers head back to their old high school for this one. Hooking Murr up to a lie detector machine, they ask him embarrassing questions in front of not only the entire student body, but also all of his old priests, nuns, teachers, and even his high school sweetheart. Did you ever lie to a priest during a confession? <laughs> Public humiliation is always painful, but getting punished in front of peers cuts that much deeper. The guys dig deep down into their friendship vault, bringing out old stories and secrets long locked away. Did you have a crush on one of your high school Spanish teachers, Mrs. Lanza? Oh my God, there she is! Knowing full well that everyone will know if he's lying, Murr, for whatever reason, still attempts to beat the polygraph, making this punishment extra mortifying. Have you ever been somewhat intimate with a stuffed animal? <laughs> I'm gonna kill you guys. <laughs> no. That's a lie. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.